Okay, this video is about driving. Remember I had a video when I first started my YouTube channel about China and putting a tax on driving? That was like a year and a half ago. I had a video on that. Y'all should go check it out. China's tax on driving. They want to tax Americans to drive. Well, this is a basically a part two to that because instead of taxing now since we about to enter into a cbdc fed now thing this is what's gonna come with it and now since we about to enter the age of the c hip the micro c hip this is all gonna be tied into it i believe that the um cbdc fed now will be tied into the uh mandatory c hip that they're going to try to make everyone take and this is all a way to cut off freedoms of um, mobility and driving from seeing loved ones and just cut you off from being around other human beings besides also on the via the internet. So you're going to be cut off from uh, everything. Let's watch. Freedom by forcing you to give mandatory breath tests in your car. Hey everybody, this is Jeff Hampton with Hampton Criminal Defense Attorneys. Listen, I'm doing a little bit different type of video here today because I'm, I'm not one to usually get very political. I don't get into a lot of political conversations or discussions, but there's a new law that has actually already been passed that I've got a bunch of notes here that I wanted to go over with you because it's gonna affect every single person in the United States. Everybody, every law-abiding citizen in the country is about to be uh, shocked with some of the things that are coming our way based upon the infrastructure bill that was passed. Now, let me just give you some, um, let me give you some background on this. You say, what does this have to do with you as a criminal defense attorney at your law firm? Well, first of all, understand this. We all know that DWI, DUI, depending on how you call it in your state, it's a very serious offense that of course we know, you know, no one is for DWI. It's, it, it imposes a very significant threat to the public and it has cost people their lives. Mm -hmm. And so as a result of that though, sometimes, here's what happens, the government will overreach and they'll make decisions about things that cost people their liberty as a result of that. The 2021 Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act now requires all new cars built after 2026 to implement systems to passively monitor the driver's performance for the purpose of detecting drunk driving. Now, specifically, H.R. 3684, Section 24220, tells us here that what they plan to do is that, un I mean, the Congress has already passed this. They've already put it into place. The infrastructure law will now require connected vehicles to collect, think about this, collect and process data to detect impaired driving. It can monitor the driver's behavior, and it can also affect steering. It can literally take over the control of the vehicle if the algorithm determines they think that you're doing something improper. So, HR 3, uh, 3684, known as the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, includes these provisions related to drunk driving prevention, and these, this, these provisions that I'm gonna talk to, to you about here today are going to be required new safety features in all cars, all vehicles, all trucks, and car manufacturers uh, are taking steps here to, I mean, they, they have no choice, they're taking steps to be in compliance with the new federal law. And there are some companies such as Volvo and Ford who are already using some of these technologies and plan on having in their in their car next year, in 2024. So if you plan on buying, buying a Volvo or a Ford, get ready. These Many of these technologies are going to be in there already. So now the problem is, everybody always says this sounds wonderful, right? It's a good thing. It'll keep Pause. people from drinking and driving. Oh my God, man, this is so freaking stupid so basically basically they don't want your ass going nowhere okay everything will be controlled if they don't like what you buying through your cbdc fed now and your what is it, it id your internet id say y'all got facebook out there instagram whatever the case your internet id that's gonna be um pushed along with your fed now with your CBDC. So you won't be able to post things on your internet, on your Facebook page, on your social media, because they're watching that. You're getting tracked and locked in on that. Then you won't be able to drive your car because 
the car say you can't drive it because you ain't get your CBDC and your your uh your internet ID situations together. You ain't accept none of this. And also, you ain't took a C hip. You ain't been vaccinated. So you locked out your car because you ain't been sorry, I did not mean to say that word. You ain't been stabbed. <laughs> oh my god, I hope I'll get a flag. You ain't got none of this going on. So you think they're gonna let you get in your car and go somewhere? They're not. So basically, this is all set up for this C-hip. You won't be able to buy, sell, drive, eat, anything. Let's go. Let's let's continue. Because I had another thought in there about how they basically trying to track, trace, and monitor and cut you off from city to city, county to county, and state to state. The problem is you have to understand the implementation, and you have to kind of peek behind the curtain to see the effects of what takes place okay let's take a look at this for a minute hold on so here also is remember your car is 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 also uh chipped your car chipped and in this instance they want to chip your car they want to track you like you're your car this you ain't you even got to be in a tesla they said a ford dang that's coming up Next is Chevy, Nissan, uh, what else we got? Mazda. Dang. And this next year, this next year, you're not be able to drive your car because of what they got going on. Meaning you can't go nowhere. All you could do is go to work and work for their ass like a slave. It says for connected vehicles to monitor drivers, there will be some form of technology that will require the collection of data while a driver is in the car's interior. The interior of the car, and here's the issue. This now collides with what the law says. Under uh, New York versus Class 475 U.S. 106, uh, a Supreme Court decision decided back in 1986, the court has said that the interior of a car is considered a place with a reasonable expectation of privacy, even under the fourth, as as defined under the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution. Mm. So, the problem is we also know people. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't exactly be feel very comfortable knowing that some algorithm or some monitoring device can take over my car whenever it wants to, mm -hmm. and I don't have any control over it. Mm -hmm. So. The problem is, is when we look at this type of structure, one of the things we have to figure out is we understand that according to this new bill, that the interior of the car is going to be monitored. There's going to be a data collection of everything that the the driver is doing as they drive the vehicle. Mm. And so one of the things that we see, for example, a video recording of the interior is going to be allowed to record certain things. Wow. Racial or ethnic information. It will record the likeness of the driver and the passengers. And it will, if the vehicle can monitor the speed limit of the road, it can provide precise geolocation. It's also likely going to be able to monitor your speed. So it's going to be able to tell if you were speeding at any certain period of time. This is all the stuff that's talking about that's in the infrastructure bill that's required. Now, car companies and manufacturers are justifying this. They're saying, okay, look. We, first of all, they didn't pass the law. They just have to be in compliance with the law. But they're not against it either. Many of the car companies are great but with this because they, they said it will help to be able to enforce traffic laws. But one could... <sighs> this is some bullshit. Okay. So basically, say you're driving your car and you're talking about the truth or something that the government don't like. Now, mind you, your car is tracked, traced, and chipped. And they can watch you from any point in the car and have a satellite tracking GPS location on your car, aka a low jack of some sort, and they could just cut your car off or blow you up. How about that? How about you was talking all that stuff about the government while driving your car somewhere in Texas and they get a, a, a dot on you, a GPS location, and they blow you up. They blow you up from your car. Or they cut you off. They cut the car off, and they cut you off, too. 